First of all, for Light's Arsenal, we have the LH1, which is a pretty much an M14, if you guys obviously have the different knowledge from outside of the finals. This M14 is a very strong hitting gun for the Light build. If we just take a look here, right in front of me is the damage of a medium. One, two, three. Manages to take out a medium with headshots. This is obviously at pretty close range. For body shots, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six shots there with close range on medium. If we just take a little bit step back just to see if there's any sort of damage fall off here for medium as well. I'm just going to climb all the way up here and just kind of check this again. So we're going to be seeing if there's any sort of damage fall off here. For headshots, one, two, three. So still pretty much the same here from, I'd say about 30 to 40 meters out. For light, double tapping with the LH1 is possible. Against lights, for body shots, that's four shots to the body. For heavy, four headshots there will take out a heavy. Eight shots will take out a heavy into the body. Next up is the V9S, and the description is a short-range semi-automatic suppressed pistol. For close range here onto a medium. Six bullets to the head takes out a medium. Nine shots to the body takes out a medium. For lights. Four bullets takes out a light with headshots. Five bullets takes out a light into the body. For heavy, and this will probably take a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bullets takes out with a headshot and into the body. Twelve bullets takes out a heavy. Just to see if there's any type of damage fall off here, I'm going to try and do this from long range. I think over there is a medium, so... Just going to see if there is any sort of damage fall off here. So before medium was one, two, three, four, five, six. Now from long range, one, two, I'm going to wait for this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yes, there is a damage fall off from this extended long range here with the V9S. Next up is the Sword Off Shotgun. It's a double barrel shotgun with a widespread. I'm gonna need still contestants here, so I'll try and see if I can figure this out. But for headshots to the best of my ability, it does not instant tap out. It deals quite a bit of bad damage, probably like 65, 70%. But you will need to hit the double barrel in the head twice with a medium for a kill. And then this is the body shots. Two body shots with the double barrel shotgun will take out a medium here as well. I'm going to do this from a decent range, but obviously shotguns are not going to be great. So I'll try my best here. And you can see it's just going to take a while. This data here is very random, but it's just rough, you know, kind of knowledge on that stuff. So we'll leave that how it is. For a light, it is an insta kill with a headshot to the head. And then for the body, it is also an insta kill as well. So a big difference there between the lights and the mediums, but you can see definitely cool to make those plays against other lights. And then finally for the heavy, this is probably going to take a minute, but we'll try our best here. Two shots. Three headshots to the head with the sort of shotgun will take out a heavy. And then finally for the body. Three shotgun shots to the body will take out a heavy as well. Next up is the M11. It's a fast firing but erratic machine pistol class firearm. First of all for the headshots. It's kind of hard to tell but I think that's about 10 bullets into the head will take out a medium. About 14 bullets there into the body will take out a medium. So next up for the lights. About six bullets there taking out to the head. I don't really know because it's shooting double bullets, but in the bottom right, I'll calculate with the bullets used. 
10 bullets there taking out a light to the body. So the damage onto a heavy with a headshot. About 10 bullets there, I think. Maybe 12. I think it's probably about 12. Maybe 14. 14 bullets to the head, I think. You'll see it in the top left of the screen anyway. And next to the body for a heavy. That many bullets there as well. I'm gonna do it one more time just in case. I think I fired one off as he died, so let me try again here. And there's 11. Yeah, I think that's it. 11 is 11 is it. Next up is the .3006 sniper. It's a light bolt action rifle with a scope. First of all, the damage onto a medium. It's not a one-shot headshot. It brings the medium down very low, but unfortunately not low enough to be able to take them out with a single shot. For the body shots, initially it looks like it's half HP, but it's actually nearly, and then it leaves this last chunk of health. I've noticed that this is a trend lately with something in the finals is that the last chunk of health is like, it doesn't, I don't know. For the lights, it is an instant kill with a headshot. For the body shot, it two shots lights for the body shot takedown. Finally, for the heavy. It is a two shot to the head. And then for the body on heavy. It is a four shot to the body. Next up is the assassin's dagger. This is a close range melee weapon. This does one shot insta kill mediums. Lights. But it does not one-shot heavies. Popular to contrary belief, people think that this does insta-backstab heavies as well. You can see it does not one-shot backstab heavies. So you will have to do a knife onto heavy twice. Is there any difference dealing a headshot into a heavy versus a body shot? That's five shots there into the head for the medium, and then for the body. It's five as well. So no, there's no difference between doing a headshot with a knife and a body shot. And it's also three to the body as well, to lights. To the body on heavies. Seven stabs, so you're going to be taking a while there and begging that they've probably DC'd at this point. Finally, we have the sword, which is a high damage melee weapon. The sword does not give you the ability to backstab, but slash instead. And no, you cannot right click with the sword too. For lights, four to the head, four to the body. For heavy, Eight to the head. Eight to the body. So here is the data that we had gone through together. You can see that in this instance, the submachine gun, the M11, is probably the favored gun at the moment. And that is what I am seeing a lot of light players use instead. Uh, but if you are going for that kind of longer range, then obviously the LH1 has the best of both worlds. It really depends on what you're kind of using as a player aspect. I've also created this final screen here, which is kind of like my own personal scoring for each guns. This may not be fully accurate or to the degree that you guys would probably score them at. Maybe if there's some data scientists in here, you guys would, you know, perceive this data a little bit better. But what I've done here is I've essentially scored um, based on the rank that these uh, guns are holding at. And I've also done some extra scoring based on range fall off and also fire rate. And you can just see that, you know, the, the M11 here, if you are playing for that closer range style, is just incredibly superior over the v9s if you're going to go for a pistol uh type style uh instead for the longer range though the lh1 does hold its ground i really do like that maybe potentially i would 
kind of say the LH1 would be a little bit better if it did a little bit more damage onto the heavy body shots. You can see that the LH1 actually scored very, very low with those heavy body shots compared to everything else. So if anything, you know, this actually can be used to compare the changes that would be done potentially later on or in future patches during this beta test. But I'm going to be doing this for each type of class. But today I thought, you know what, let's do one for light. I uh, apologize I haven't been making videos. I've been completely disrupted by power outages in my area it's been absolutely horrendous recently uh, but hopefully you guys get this as soon as possible and you can kind of see which gun is the best you know i do hear that debate you know recently and it's like hey i don't know whether to use the v9s or the m11 well in this case here we can see that the m11 is the stronger gun um you just have to kind of take into factor things like um the fall off uh, of the bullets as well after range but hopefully this was helpful for you if it was then please subscribe my name has been fixed and as always i'll see you on the podium